This week, some of the more important news stories were in the business section of the newspaper. Yes, the business section. It's the credits to a boring foreign language film that you can't believe people are still paying to have produced. That doesn't mean it's not important. It's just... Headlines, and a little bit of the lead, and some opinion. Environmental activists point out that Bahamas Petroleum only had $32.5 million of the $35 million to cover the cost of the well presently being drilled. This brings up concerns as to whether this company would have the capital to take care of an accident or an oil spill, to which BPC responded, What? Huh? We can't hear you over the drilling! James Smith, a BPC director, was quoted by the Tribune as saying, It's futile. It's too far gone to stop anything. Words no doubt echoed by countless gunmen in drive-bys. I already shoot one bullet, bro. It's too futile for me to stop. The Attorney General proudly proclaimed that in 2020, their conviction rate had risen to 87%, while admitting this is partly because of COVID. So... All we need is like three more worldwide pandemics and we should have this crime thing solved. The CDC is requiring all American citizens and residents to have a negative COVID test to return home. And the Minister of Tourism, Dino of Aguila, thinks that he has a really good reason why they should exempt us. Our low numbers. Except, you know, it's just two problems with that. Our numbers. What do you mean that's only one? Are you saying there's something wrong with my numbers? You know, I said 46% of the people who traveled to the Bahamas didn't take the mandatory five-day follow-up COVID test, right? And on top of that, these government-confirmed numbers, dog, these ain't like normal numbers. Anybody who ever been to the passport office without the foresight of being related to somebody in the passport office could tell you how difficult it is for the government to confirm something. Put the glasses back on, so it's a different story. The government refused to accept payment for outstanding licensing fees from Bahamas Petroleum Company. Wait, no, that can't be right. Don't we need money? Um, Simon Potter says it's a basic, audible business practice. Those might be opposed to BBC's lawful activities, seeking to make mountains out of molehills by misrepresenting basic matters. Huh. So why didn't the government just take the money and run? Well, according to Carl Bethel, while BPC has sent a check, the reason it was rejected was because they tended what they say the amount is, but we don't agree. That right there is gangster. That's what I like. Firstly, Bahamas Petroleum Company, you really should see a doctor because the size of your balls cannot be healthy. The next time I go in a food store, I'm going to set the price. And if anybody points out that I can't do that, I'm gonna be like, guys, you're making mountains out of molehills. This is a basic, audible business practice. Let's, let's go into reconciliation about it. Secondly, I'm going to say something that last week I didn't think I was going to say. Good, good job, Carl. It'd be great if, you know, this was one of the things that you guys had promised during election. But whatever, you know, I mean, like, okay. Just one step at a time. World news. The world is on fire. And everything is happening in the fi fire. Hey. While I'm sure that there are other things that happened, the big international news story last week was that US President Donald Trump was impeached. Again. Now, to my American friends who are watching this, I understand that this is your first time being a developing nation in turmoil. So let me let you know what all of this means. It means nothing. It means absolutely nothing. If I could tell you the number of times in our peaceful country, one side has accused the other of corruption or doing very bad things and having the proof to take them to court and then absolutely nothing happens, then I would be doing an online political satire show. Ta-da! You just have to wait to be liberated by a bigger, richer country who sees it in their best interest that you have a stable democracy. Ah, says here that you guys have oil in Texas, so hold on tight. Any day now, America will come to... Wait, sorry. 
You guys are America. It's okay. It's fine. I'm, I'm also sure there are like four viewers wondering, why am I even talking about American news? Well, Hubert Minnis, our prime minister, occasionally tries to emulate Trump. Because, I mean, if shouting fake news at reporters works over there, maybe it'll work here too. And while the main difference between the two of them is that Trump doesn't have a hypothetical granddaughter to reference in every national address. And then my granddaughter said, Papa, water is stronger when it is together than when it is apart. Let us pray. The bigger issue is that at least they have a semi-working means to remove political officials. We don't. Watching American news gives us a heads up of what to expect from our local political shenanigans. Speaking of mask, so it's come to my attention that while everyone in the country hates COVID more than we hate to hear the words, my fellow behemoths and residents, or more than when you catch a girl doing something dumb and she's like, it's cause Mercury in retrograde. Mercury can't be in retrograde for 12 months, Shannon. That don't make no sense. More than you hate to hear your mommy tell her friends that you are good with computers so you can make them a what's up. Despite all of this, not everyone knows how to slow the virus down. Why is wearing a mask important? Because unlike your girlfriend's male best friend, Brian, you believe in boundaries. That means that there is something that says, this is as far as you can go. Like, why are you telling Brian about what we were on about? Sorry, we're talking about the mask. Okay, that's fine. Since the virus is respiratory, that means it has to do with breathing. And what do we breathe with? Not your chin, not your forehead, not the side of your neck, unless you're secretly Aquaman or something. You breathe through your nose and mouth, which means that you should cover your nose and mouth with a mask. This goes without saying, but when, when we say mask, we don't mean like a Holloway mask, but a regular disposable or cloth face mask. But Shin, they're so uncomfortable. Well, I have good news for you. You only need to wear them when you're going into a store business, when riding public transportation, when entering a beach or park, or picking up food from a takeaway. In fact, Basically anywhere that you meet with people that you don't live with, you should put on a mask. Of course, the Bryans among us will say, well, I don't have COVID. Why do I need to wear a mask? Because no matter how dry you are, if it's raining outside, you're gonna to wanna to take an umbrella. I think that's it. Oh, and exercising. You don't have to wear a mask if you're exercising but you still need to have it on you in the event that you encounter a person. But let's be honest with ourselves. You know you're being exercised and since COVID. I mean, just cause you get sweaty when you're eating your grammy guava duff, that don't really count as exercise. So just saying. I know you like being entertained, but I mean, this show is like what? 12 minutes long, comes on once a week. And what are you going to fill the rest of your time with? Maybe you should try AndroidTV242.com. It's like cable, except it works and it's cheaper. I mean, honestly, that might be the best selling point. It's not cable. So give them a call and tell them that Shinwin sent you and they will say, okay, why are you telling us that? AndroidTV242.com. Finally, the Prime Minister decided that he was going to have a New Year's Day speech. 12 days into the year. I mean, of course, if you're a civil servant, that's considered 353 days early, so. Here are the highlights. Restrictions will end. Oh, flex. Party time, party time. But we still have a few more months to go, especially as the pandemic continues to rage in countries all around the world. Mother. And at the end of it, nothing changed. Pretty much everything remain the same and you, you know what i feel a little swung because i mean i know he didn't say that he was going to say anything crazy and wild but i'm just saying he could have said something crazy and wild it was an actual new year's day speech two weeks into the new year i, I spoke to the nation in a more timely manner and i don't get paid for it why hey guys we've had a lot of fun but I want to talk to you about something very important. Why are there no female breakfast cereal mascots? I mean, think about it. They are all guys. Even the warm cereals like cream of wheat, 
The closest you get is Aunt Jemima. And besides that being racist, it's, it's not a cereal. That's, that's pancakes. What are we going to do about this level of discrimination in our world? Oh, and since everybody kept voting for the rap song and nobody voted for the, well, three people voted for the book. Uh, the link is in the description. I, it's on Kofi. It's free. You should totally head over there. Um, maybe you think about buying me a cup of coffee if you want to support my rap career. And also don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to this channel and all the channels on, on all the platforms. That's it. Thank you.